Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a simple screenshot into an editable Figma project step by step. If you've ever wanted to take an image, maybe it's a screenshot of a website or a mobile app and actually edit the text, move elements around and make it your own inside Figma, you're in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to bring static images to life as real, editable design files, which is a huge time saver and opens up a ton of creative possibilities. Let's dive right in. So first things first. I have an image right here, let's say it's a screenshot of a web page layout that I really like and want to work with in Figma. This could be literally any image, a UI design you're inspired by, a component you need to rework, whatever you want. The sample I'm using today is a clean website screenshot, but the process is exactly the same for any screenshot or static design you have. Now once the image is in your Figma canvas, let's move on to the magic step. We need a way to convert this image into editable layers. Figma has a ton of powerful plugins to help automate repetitive or tricky tasks, and for this job we're going to use a clever one called Codia AI Design. You'll find the plugins option right at the bottom center of your Figma window, can't miss it. Give it a click, and this opens the plugins panel where you can search for all sorts of handy tools. Type Codia AI Design in the search bar. A quick tip, if you haven't installed it before you might see an install button, just hit that and it'll be ready to go for next time as well. Once you spot Codia AI Design in the list, click on it and then select Run. This tells Figma you're ready to use this plugin for your current project. Here comes the crucial step. You need to tell the plugin which image you want to convert. This can be as simple as dragging a box over the image layer or just clicking directly on the image itself if it's the only one on your canvas. The plugin needs to know exactly which layer to process, so if you accidentally select the wrong one, no worries, just click again until it's highlighted. After you've selected the image layer, look around for the option that says Convert to Figma or to Figma. Depending on the plugin's latest update, it might be worded slightly differently. Click it to start the conversion process. Now this is where the magic and a bit of patience comes in. The plugin is doing a lot of heavy lifting, using artificial intelligence to analyze your image and figure out where all the different design elements are. The text blocks, buttons, images, and so on. It'll break these apart and recreate them as editable Figma layers. Depending on your internet connection, the size of your image, and how complex the design is, this process can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. Don't worry if your screen just sits there for a bit, just be patient and let the plugin work its magic. Once it's finished, you'll see your one static screenshot has transformed. Try double-clicking on text elements, you should be able to say, change a button label or update a heading. Move a section, experiment with colors, and before you know it, you've got a fully editable file built from just an image. And that's it, now you can go from screenshot to customizable Figma project in no time. If this tutorial helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions, or if you want more plugin walkthroughs. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming Figma tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.